Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. You'll be able to see there the US theory has now broken through 18,112. Uh, now we're looking at the next potential resistance at 18,289. Um, now we actually had a, a much higher value there on Friday, got pushed right back down again. Already this morning we've had a, an attempt to, to push on higher, but it does look that uh, 18,112 is going to act as a potential support level, which could be um, an interesting point to, to, to get involved if you think that the uh, US markets are going to uh, benefit from this weaker dollar at the moment. Otherwise, if we break below 18,112, you'd be looking at uh, a level closer to, uh, to 18,000, which would also coincide with that 21 period SMA. Um, most of the technicals are actually uh, neutral, sans the MACD, which got a bullish crossover. And the moving averages, well, the 55 period moving average is quite far away, but it's the 21 that's in, uh, in play right now. Moving on to the UK 100, comfortably in an all-time high territory, broke above 7,000 for the first time there on Friday. Um, you would really need to get uh, Fibonacci price projections out now to look for the next uh, potential support, or uh, next potential resistance level. In fact, if I just go ahead and look for that right now, um, take this point here and look for your for your big breakout. Uh, we could be looking at level. We're actually going to be quite, quite, quite close to one right now. That would be uh, 7,044 followed by 7,150 as the next potential um, resistance levels based on Fibonacci price extensions. So, moving on to Japan 225, uh, which is more than halfway now to 20,868. Probably 20,000 is going to be the next big level uh, that a lot of the um, financial papers will talk about for Japan. Dollar yen having reverse course slightly as a dollar has taken its foot off the gas slightly. One one twenty uh, as for dollar yen is right now, uh, and uh, as I said, we're not that far away from breaking twenty thousand. After we do that, twenty thousand eight hundred sixty is the next potential um, support level, resistance level. Sorry, uh, all the technicals are massively overbought, but we'll probably get to twenty thousand at some point soon. Um, moving on to this dollar yen position, you can see the move that we've had. There's, it's not really a great uh, trading opportunity on dollar yen right now versus some of the other markets where you're still looking at 119 being support, 121.87 being potential resistance. We're trading below the 21 period SMA. The 55 period SMA is bouncing around that 119 level and the other technicals are still relatively neutral to be completely honest. Um, so once the dollar decides what it's going to do, is and are we going to see the dollar go sideways now or are we going to begin to see a little bit yeah, of a winding of cool, that cool, long term, cool. longer term dollar uh, strength no, as people started pricing no, a September hike stock, rather than June. Um, so moving on to both Texas crude, more news out uh, over the weekend. Uh, OPEC will not be cutting production alone. The Saudis are uh, standing by their position not to reduce their output either. Um, the dollar, the sapping of dollar strength helped to crude oil get a 4% rise on Friday. It's down over a percent again today, I believe. And uh, we are looking at, yeah, it's 1.12% down. And uh, we're still looking at 43.29 as being a potential support level. Moving on to gold, uh, gold is still benefiting from the, um, from the interest rate differential between the dollar and uh, September. Uh, we are now looking at the 21 period SMA and potential resistance at 118.86. Um, this level could be a bit tougher for it to break, but we do have a cross of the MACD. Um, we've obviously got um, uh, reversal signals or buying signals in the R signs on stochastic. So certainly maybe from the technical perspective, uh, couple that with a bit of uh, middling US macro data, if we do get some this week, that could help gold to uh, test 1218. But I do think it's a relatively quiet week for economic data this week. So moving on to your dollar, uh, it's been all, all over the place, looking like it, it, it gapped higher uh, this morning. Uh, we're now on the right side of 107.86, just only on that level. We're trading to, uh, towards the low of the day, but it certainly had a, had a big move to, uh, to go a little bit higher, uh, with 111 being the next potential resistance. So um, the US dollar is certainly taking its foot off the gas. So finishing up with GBP USD, uh, had a very strong day there on Friday. We've had uh, a bit of a reversal so far today, a bomb of this range again. 
one spot 4813 as a potential support level death cross and moving averages we've not yet got this cross over here in the MACD but that might come soon whereas you do have some buying signals in the RSI and the still stochastic right there uh, again any middling US data should be a big shot on the arm for GBP uh, against the dollar uh, which could then retest one spot 5185 so economic data wise we do have uh, home sales and CPI inflationary data for the eurozone today at 3 UK time and on Tuesday, you've got a whole host of PMI right across the globe. You've got UK, Germany, Eurozone, uh, and the UK, CPI and PPI, RPI, um, Consumer Price uh, Index for America as well. So actually tomorrow promises to be uh, a very interesting day. And because that's inflationary related, uh, people will be keenly watching it for the US. But I think most commentators will be expecting some of this data here to be quite weak, especially considering the big drop in crude oil that we've had over the last number of months. Uh, most of the forecasts are not going to be anything that special for in inflation data uh, as we are in a deflation mode. So as ever, keep your uh, eyes on the chart forum, make insights part of your data going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.